Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm making this video for anybody who's ever wondered um, what kind of error you would get when your battery is finally dead on your Tesla. So I have a 2013 Tesla Model S. I got it about five years ago. It had 50,000 miles on it initially. And uh, now I'm basically at 198,000, almost 200,000. So I ran this car for about 150,000 miles. Uh, I got the unlimited supercharging on the car. Um, love the car. It's been great. Had very minimal problems. Um, had to change a 12 volt battery, a bunch of tires, uh, small things, not a big deal. Door handles, stuff like that. But I've always wondered what kind of error should I expect when the battery finally gives out? And I think I'm finally there. Um, so about five days ago, went to a supercharger, um, disconnected the bat, disconnected the, the charger, and then I got an error. And that error was maximum battery level reduced. Go to service, seek service, whatever that is. Um, there it is right there. That's the one. Schedule service. So, you know, I, I didn't think much of it at the time. I thought it was just some whatever error. Um, decided to go to another supercharger, see if it would charge. Saw it wasn't charging. At the time, I was at 220 miles on, on the battery. And uh, drove, drove around for a little bit uh, from one place to another. Then I, next thing I know, my battery was, you know, slowly going down 180 miles, 170, 150. And right now I'm at the point where I'm at 81 miles and uh, tried to charge it at home at a slow charger, try to tr charge it at multiple superchargers, nothing worked. So um, I scheduled the service. My service is scheduled for about 10 minutes from now and I'm on my way there right now. And, um, you know, from what I've Googled online so far for this error, it seems like it's finally time for the battery. Um, battery finally given up on me. We'll see. And I hope it's not that, but I, you know, I would think that it is. And, you know, I, I didn't expect the battery to last forever. So, and from my point of view, driving this car 150,000 miles, I bought it used myself, got it for about 30 grand. You know, I did some math on the gas savings that I that I had. From my point of view, um, I, mean, I mean, I know I lost a little bit. Bottom line, I drove a Tesla for five years. You know, I had very minimal maintenance costs, no smogs, no oil, no oil changes, uh, no, didn't have to pay for gas, super minimal electricity. I'd say in the last, um, in the last five years that I, that I drove it, I probably spent maybe a hundred bucks on, um, electricity. I mean, I get free, I get free slow charging at work and I use superchargers very often. I know that that probably wasn't the best idea, but whatever. I mean, the way I see it, the car paid for itself and, and I'm happy with the experience regardless of what they tell me right now at Tesla you know if they tell me it's the battery and they want to you know they want to charge me whatever you know I um, we'll see I mean last time I went in for service uh, I asked hey what, what happens if my battery gives out on me you know like um, how much would it be um, and um, so they they told me for the battery I was looking at like 25 grand at the time. And then I asked them, okay, what about if it was the drivetrain? And for the drivetrain, they had told me it was like 23 grand. So in my mind, when they told me that, I was like, well, when the battery gives out, I'm pretty much giving up on the car. That's it. I'm not, there's no way I'm paying 25 grand to fix the battery just to have the drivetrain go out on me soon after and then have to pay more money for that. It doesn't make sense. So what I'm gonna do with the car uh, if it is the battery, you know, physically, I, I don't know at this point. Um, what I do know is that I'm probably just going to buy another one. I love the car, love the experience, love the drive, you know, love the physical appearance of it. It's been great. Love the car. 150,000 miles, no gas, no minimal maintenance. It's well worth it from my point of view. Um, so, you know, I'll find out in a bit what the issue is. I hope it's not the battery, but I can only assume that it is at this point. And I'll, you know, be showing you guys. I guess you guys will will find out. 
you know, in a few seconds for you, and I'll find out in a few hours. All right, guys. Well, I'll um, I'll add that to this video, and uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Um, it's a 2013 P85. Uh, got it five years ago. Initially, about 50,000 miles on it, and again. Now it has 198, 152. I'm at 78 miles on the charge. It's not taken any charge at all. And I've, like I said, I've tried to charge it multiple times. It hasn't gone anywhere at all. So we'll see what it is. Um, hopefully it's not the battery. Most likely it is. All right, thanks. Hey guys. All right, finally got my car back from Tesla. They gave me the quote. You can see there, $16,221.48 to get a refurbished battery on there. And on the next page here, I'll show you guys a breakdown of that figure. So for parts, uh, they're quoting $14,025.92. Uh, for the labor to swap out the battery, $757.90, which is pretty cheap from my point of view. It's only like three hours of, of labor. Um... Uh, discount zero, subtotal 14,783, tax 1,437.66, brings that grand total $16,221.48. So, um, you know, bottom line, I'm still happy with the car, I'm still happy with the experience that I had. Um, just to give you guys an update, you know, it's probably been about two, three months now since I uh, took it into Tesla and, um, and I ended up buying another Tesla, bought a Model 3, go into that in a bit. Um, but since I brought the car home, uh, I am actually still able to charge the car up to about 80 miles, which is not very much, especially with the degradation, it doesn't get all, all the 80 miles. So um, I did end up buying a Model 3. Um, the Model 3, I use it to commute to work and here and there, and I still have the Model S here at home and I use the Model S for uh, going to the gym, going to the grocery store, taking the kids to school, all that good stuff, local drives around here. And I use the superchargers um, here and there as well. So I um, don't know what I'm gonna do with the car for now, but it is what it is. So that's the update on the car. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I am interested in, um, the probability of maybe getting the car fixed. Um, I'm not going to spend 16 grand on it. Obviously, that's uh, that's an insane amount of money. I ended up picking up a, a Model 3 um, used uh, with about 45,000 miles, uh, long range, dual motor, uh, 2022. Um, I ended up getting it after the $5,000 EV credit that they were offering. I got it for 19,000 from Hertz, uh, which is a an insane deal from my point of view. So $19,000 for, from my point of view, basically a brand new car, um, very little miles and, um, 19,000 instead of versus 16,000 for a battery. And then I got to worry about the drivetrain right after that. No way, no way I'm paying that. And then I have to worry about the drivetrain. So, um, I'm still happy with the car, um, with that, what I got out of it. And I, I feel like it paid for itself. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Um, probably could have took better care of it, but whatever. It is what it is in the past. Ain't no sense in crying over spoiled milk. So got to move on. Got the new car moving forward. Still using the other one. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or any ideas or suggestions on how I can get it fixed for a more reasonable price. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.